Uh, hi guys, uh, I'm Umar and today I'm going to uh, give a breakdown of my recent VFX uh, project that I posted uh, in my uh, YouTube shorts. Uh, so basically it all starts with After Effects. Uh, so I basically use After Effects for uh, motion tracking and uh, to motion track it uh, it's better uh, to use after effects for motion tracking uh, because uh, for bl uh, blender is somewhat um, complex uh, if we are talking about someone who is just starting i think uh, we should use after effects for motion tracking so after effects comes with a plugin uh, if i go here ins inside the file option and if i go down in this drop down you can see the script sec section here so it comes with the export composition data to json.jsx uh, it's a script file uh, for after effects with uh, which export the uh, motion tracking data from after effects uh, to the blender so then we can import uh, this after effects uh, data uh, into uh, the blender okay so uh, let's uh, break it down so this is this was the raw uh, raw footage that i got from the pixabay and i downloaded it and then what i did uh, i basically uh, if you can see here right here i have pre-composed this clip so why have why i have pre-composed this clip because uh, i applied the lumetri color so if you go, go here and type lumetri color here uh, there is a color correction uh, effect uh, which is called uh, lumetri color and when you apply this lumetri color you you can have a full control over the contrast of the clip the saturation of the clip so what i did actually i increased the uh, contrast as you can see so this uh, if i turn it to zero so this this is uh, it uh, before and then i change it to the maximum which is 150 so what it does it created the dark points it just increased the contrast so the color is more vivid and finally i increased the saturation uh, because first it was like this uh, not like this mainly like this uh, but i increased it something like 153 uh, this works best so it uh, makes the color more vivid which in turn helps to uh, uh, motion track uh, this footage more uh, more correctly so if you go here uh, then I uh, pre compose this uh, clip and then I applied the 3d camera tracker onto it and after that I when you apply the 3d camera tracker make sure that you check this detailed analysis so it shows the um, it it analyze it perfectly it an analyze the clip perfectly and according to that the motion tracking uh, motion tracking uh, points appears so if you did don't check this one uh, it will not be so detailed analysis and the motion tracking uh, points will not appear uh, may not appear where where you want so uh, remember to check this option right here and after that what I did I just selected these like this and then I right click and I created a solid so right now it say it, it says uh, create solid uh, because I already have created the camera but for example let's say if I delete this camera uh, and for example let's say I delete this 3d camera and now I click here and now I do something like this and so now it's saying create solid and camera okay so because we don't have the camera but previously we have the camera so that why uh, that that why it was not showing the camera uh, option okay it, it is not it is just saying create solid so if I click on the create solid option it will create a solid and it will track it perfectly okay so this is basically the this is how you track and select the points and then right click so you have to right click and then you have to uh, create a solid or camera after that what you have to do you have to select all these three uh, one by one and by pressing and holding shift 
and once you have selected them all uh, what you have to do you have to go inside here uh, go into the script section and then click export composition data uh, to json dot J, uh, jsx so when you click on the browse and then you can rename it as as you want and save it wherever you want after that after that uh, you can export it so i already have exported it so i will not export it again okay then after uh, what you can do you can go inside the blender right here i have the blender scene so this is already set up uh, we will discuss this part uh, not now let's hide this all maybe uh, keep remaining okay so if we go inside the file option here and if we go inside the import section you can see it shows uh, here after effects composition data converted json so basically i have a uh, add-on so there are two add-ons one is for after effects which is a script that i showed you earlier uh, this one this is a script for after effects to export data for blender to export motion tracking data for blender and this is basically a uh, add-on for blender to import uh, the exported data of after effects into the blender so i have already downloaded it i, I can show you so this is basically the add-on right right here this is import composition to blender and you can you can uh, i i will share the links the, in the description so you can download it uh, it's quite easy uh, okay then what you can do you can go into the file and you have to uh, for suppose you have to ex import the uh, motion tracking data so you go down right here after you enable the add-on you can see this option once you click here you can click on the motion data dot json it was the same one okay you can import it and after you import it uh, you will have these options right here 3d tracker camera uh, clip uh, anchor point track uh, solid orientation okay then what you have to do it's already tracked so what you have to do you have to select the camera first uh, by going inside this 3d camera tracker orientation and 3d tracker camera then you have to go inside this camera option and th this will be uh, shut uh, shut uh, like this this will be not checked so you have to check it you have to click on add image and select the movie clip then you have to browse and select the clip and once clip is uh, uh, browsed and applied yeah, by default the opacity is 0 0.5 so you have to increase it to 1 so you can see it clearly and all the settings uh, by default is correct so you don't have to change anything next uh, you can go right here and uh, by default the blender is set to EV so you have to change it to cycles then you have to make sure you are in the gpu if you have uh, if you are not, if you have a gpu you can change it to gpu compute okay and make sure it is optics set the samples as much as you want and then after that you have to go into the uh, film option and turn this transparent on so this makes sure that the environment is not visible for example if we go here like this and if we so you see if this is not transparent uh, this whole uh, environment show this uh, HDRI so this is basically an HDRI which I put for the realistic lights and shadows okay and as you can notice it is the same HDRI okay I just went here and I just put this clip as a HDRI uh, you can say a world uh, world material okay world shader so this is a world shader or you can call it HDRI uh, so I use it for the realistic shadow uh, and make sure you just make it transparent uh, so it's important after that what I did I tried to model this out uh, this pathways uh, as you can see I have modeled it out uh, I can show you if I if you uh, if you have modeled it out and you want to apply uh, you you want to apply the shadows onto it like for example uh, there is an option so for example let me show you real quick so this is basically a path this is basically a footpath 
and I model the walls too and a little uh, inclination so basically I applied a shadow catcher onto it so what does the shadow catcher do if, if I turn this off and now you can see and this one also so now you can see this is basically a simple uh, plane and nothing else uh, what I did I just turned uh, by if you go into the object properties you will see a visibility option and inside visibility option there is a mask option so ju you just uh, turn on the shadow catcher and it will uh, it will make the any object you place on top on of it it will uh, cast a shadow onto it okay it will not show the object but cast a shadow so it will look like that it's casting the shadow on this real life footage okay similarly for all like this and that's it after that I put a origami board uh, right here so you see it's now casting a shadow because we applied the shadow catcher onto it okay so that's the main thing and then what you can do then what I did I uh, separated this plane right here and applied uh, the uh, let me show you applied the particle system and then I uh, then I uh, uh, added uh, uh, red spider lily flowers and animated them growing okay so uh, let me show you something like this I animated them growing so so it's something cool so there is lot of possibility it's just an idea that I shared with you so there are a lot of possibilities uh, you can um, you can play around with it so for example you can attach you can model this train out and rotoscope this out and attach something at the end of this train like for example a flag flapping so there is a lot of thing uh, you can do uh, just uh, just you need to have a vivid imagination and you can really play a lot for example I can uh, I can I can uh, I can animate some rocks falling down by using rigid body simulation like this so it will look real or maybe a distant boat traveling in the ocean something like that or maybe uh, paper boats falling down or flowers falling down from the top so there is a lot of things uh, we can achieve uh, yeah and it will look realistic so this is a short breakdown uh, of this uh, shot that I made uh, about my recent uh, if you go into my uh, YouTube short feed you can see there is this uh, short uh, VFX so this was just a breakdown of the of its uh, uh, making so uh, you guys should know how to make this too and I hope to see uh, someone create something like this or even better okay guys see you see you in the next uh, breakdown